Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for, you know, becoming and walking in your true self. You know, you're learning and you're healing along the way, which is a very good thing. So keep on going and keep up the great work. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you have been um uh if you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two and I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend, go ahead and do so and give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites as well. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my videos today. And this beautiful heavenly music I am listening to today is called Love Healing Music, Soothing Music, Calming Music, Relaxing, Stress Relief, Meditation Sleep. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101 releasing, Twin Flames releasing heart armor. Yes, we have been, oh my gosh, y'all, if you are a Twin Flame, so much love to you. <laughs> so much love and uplifting blessings towards us. Because there is just like with the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine, there's so many things being said. You know, there are some that are, you know... Uh, are going through a separation rage that um that they're healing they're you know they're taking the armor off they're actually you know trying to become one with themselves even though we're already one as you know as a as one but just in separate you know bodies or whatever um we're all healing and it's just like I felt that through my meditations that I was doing a few minutes ago and it just felt so good it felt so good because it was just like while I'm there it was like and chaining and it was like I was able to talk to my dad we were just sitting there just laughing and talking and it's just like nothing but love was there um, it was a beautiful feeling I didn't feel any kind of negative energy because usually when I talk to him there's sometimes that things that went on in the daily um, or just things I'm going through in general it will pop up and it'll just like break the connection like you know it's like you know how darkness doesn't light like to come in so they try to disrupt that as much as possible but I can really feel the love there and it's just like when we have gone through so much trauma in our lives we don't realize when we have twin flames and you you know some people don't know if they have twin flames you have to look at all the characteristics to know if you're a twin flame um and if you, you know, you've been watching my videos for, uh, if you haven't been watching my videos for a while, I do have videos uh, to let you know how do you know if you're a twin flame and how do you find them. Um, but yeah, if we've been going through things for so long, we don't realize uh, just because of the things that we hold on to, it can block the love and energy that our other selves is get, giving, you know, whether it's divine, divine feminine or divine masculine. But um as in runner or chasers, you know, we, there's always one that is always running and there's always one that is chasing. They try to say that um, not all of them, but some of them could be asleep and then there's one of them that could be, you know, awake when it comes to their relationship. You know, they're known to know that they have a twin flame. They're trying to help them, lead them to that part for them knowing as well. So it's just like, it feels really good to actually know that, you know, I'm healing. I'm releasing a lot of things. You know, I'm taking things even though it's a hard pill to swallow for certain things to actually know because it's just like when you meditate and you ask universe you know let me see the unseen you know I understand there might be a lot of things that might make me uncomfortable but I have to you know I have to prepare myself for that so that is the process of healing when especially when you're trying to make that union for your twin flame so it's just like when you meditate you know just try not to you know you have to really just really clear yourself out because it's just like it's a hard thing to do especially when you're on your side trying to heal as well you know and you have separation anxiety sometimes um some people like i was on this uh facebook thing um group 
and it was called like Twin Flame Forum or something like that, where um there was a lot of uh uh what is it um, divine feminine that were going through a lot. Um, some of them were going through abuse or whatever, but it's just like you know you're a lot of times that they say when you're going through abuse with your twin flame is because that's what you're pushing out towards them and they're mirroring what you know that you need to see for yourself so it's just like with my my dad you know he will always you know feel like I wasn't giving him love at times but it was just the fact is I didn't know you know how to actually show that with him not being here so I had to basically teach myself as he's helped me as well of trying to give me that support to be able to link myself closer to him because it's like intense memories come back and they're very beautiful it's nothing um sad or um well kind of sad but it's just like a bittersweet moment but it's very it's coming from a loving place basically that's what i was trying to say but you know we all have to go through that you know we're you know we're healing and it takes time you know sometimes we can get frustrated with ourselves because we want to get over something so bad but it you know it's just like an onion you have to peel back the layers you know we have been through so much trauma so much abuse you know uh you're probably still going through it as well and you're trying to find your way up out of it so it, it's going to take some time to have to do that determination and passion for it so it's just like allow yourself to heal you know your heart armor is starting to come off if you're doing a lot of meditation and you're you know you're connecting with your twin flame metaphysically sexually you know in dreams which we always do anyway um not all no i'm not trying to say all twin flames are sexual uh relationships because they can be same sex relationships uh as just being best friends they're just like you know having this you know just like a regular twin but um it, we're allowing ourselves to heal and see the things that we need to see even though they're not as pretty as you know we expected or you know there's truth about ourselves that we weren't really comfortable allowing ourselves to see because we suppressed it for so long but I really am starting to see a lot of people healing as well. So allow yourself to go ahead and do that. You know, it's a beautiful feeling. If you have had that beautiful connection with your twin flame recently, go ahead and drop a line and let me know about it. I would love to hear your story. And, you know, I hope everybody was able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope you have a blessed, safe week. And, you know, uplifting vibes, healing vibes, you know, um, loving vibes all your way to now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and my post notification shout out goes to um let me see christine flaherty i hope i pronounced your last name right much love to you sis and sending uplifting vibes to you and hope you had a blessed week and you know while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites drop me a line i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or, you know, just about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards positive direction. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I already said that. And hit that notification bell. And I will talk to you on my next video. Peace and be wild.